Hi guys, welcome back to An African Eye. I'm Ash Appleton. Season two is all about keeping it real. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you one of my unstyled and made rooms and talk you through the changes I'm planning to make so you get a sense of where my design process is gonna be heading. So this is gonna be a good one. Keep watching. So let's have a look. Well, here it is. Not the most beautiful room in the world, but it's my downstairs cloakroom. Well, actually at the moment, it's serving more as a storage space for all my kitchen stuff. All this stuff is gonna go into the kitchen as part of the makeover. So what I'm planning to do with this space is turn it into a cloakroom come laundry space. The trick with styling or designing spaces is to make them work as hard as they can. And when you look at it, it's actually quite a big space. So I went back and forth with what to do with it. I thought about putting in a shower, you know, like a really nice, powerful shower. I thought, no, I don't really need a shower. What I need is a laundry space because I want to build into the laundry space, which is off the kitchen. So I need to transfer all that laundry business here. As you can see, the only real attempt I've made to style this room is with my travel images, which by the way, if you're interested in photography, head over to my website, www.ashapto.com, and you can see more of my photography there. So what, what am I gonna do? First thing is, this wall thing is coming off. It's actually taking up a lot of room, I don't need it. So I'm gonna knock this out. I'm going to change the loo or the toilet. I'm gonna wall mount it. Because if I use a wall mounted toilet, it's actually going to take up less room. So that's what I want to do, because I'm talking about maximizing the space in here. So that it's going to stay where it is, but it's going to be wall mounted. Then this hand wash basin is going to move into this corner over here, which frees up quite a bit of space, if you can imagine, where the washing machine is going to fit. Next to the washing machine, there's going to be a space for a dryer. I don't actually use a dryer. I mean, because of, you know, in terms of energy consumption and electricity costs, it builds. So I've never used, but I still want a space for one, just in case I ever need to dry anything using the dryer. So I wouldn't have a space for it. Because when you design spaces, it's also good to think about potential future needs. You know, you're, you're designing for the future and you could be moving out or something and the person who moves in wants a dryer. So always think about other needs as well, not just your immediate needs. Okay, so. The dryer's gonna go here. And as you can see, all this kitchen stuff will obviously move out. Here are some samples, tile samples. I haven't quite decided. I probably like this one better. It's not as gray, it's more sort of browny. They may be too slippery. So I may have to think about this. It may not work, because obviously this is a wet area potentially. So you don't want, you want non-slip tiles. And I'm not sure if these are non-slip. So I'm still thinking about what to put on the floor. Here, I'm gonna have one of those clothes dryer. You know the ones that you fold and keep away when you're not using them? So like if, if you've got people coming around and I don't want it to look like a laundry room, I just simply fold it, put it out of sight, and then put it back when I need it. That's what I'm gonna do. And I might actually get one of those, you can get this pulley sort of system dryers, clothes dryers. You know the ones you, kind of old fashioned ones. So I think I might put one in, to, you know, just to increase the area, the drying area. So this is what I mean about maximizing spaces and making them work hard. There's no point in just having a cloakroom which is used occasionally, you know? So why not, why not make it double over? And that's what they do so well in Europe and in North America. Small spaces like this really work hard. And I think we need to do more of that over here because we're living in increasingly smaller spaces. So the trick is to see how you can get the most out of what you have. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And even though you'll see the washing machine, it's fine. I mean you know, it's still gonna look nice. So there's nothing wrong with seeing a washing machine, you know. So I think some of us have this idea that that kind of stuff has to be kept out of sight and, you know, you know, because you don't want people to see, but it's gonna be fine. So please come back a few weeks and I'll show you the complete transformation. It's gonna look completely different. I'm just, you know, I'm excited. It's quite a big, it's quite a big reno for a small space, but it's gonna make all the difference to my quality of life. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's useful. Let me know what you think. Any guesses what colors I'm gonna use in here? We'd love to hear what you have to say. Drop me a line in the comments. Subscribe as usual. Tell your friends, share. Press the notification. 
bell so you don't miss any future episodes and i'll see you in the next one